Everybody, I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know a few things before we went ahead and watch the video. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, being ads, so uh, we're going to be discussing a $5 budget being ad. But before we go ahead and get into that, I want to let you guys know that normally when you set up a being ad advertisement, you want to set up at least three of them so you can figure out which ones, which one is the best. You could probably even set up five of them to figure out which one's the best. That's what you normally should do is set up a couple of different being advertisements that are targeting the same thing. To figure out which one is getting the best advertisements, then you want to go ahead and delete the other ones and just go ahead and stick with the one that's getting the best advertisements. That's getting the best clicks, I'm sorry. Getting the best. Good, that's getting the best clicks. Now, I also want to tell you guys that you don't need to only target a $5 campaign. You could target a $2 campaign. You want to set up multiple ads about for the one same product. This is normally how you want to do it set up multiple ads for the same project, project to see which one gets the best uh, clicks. If the one that gets the best clicks, that's the one you want to save. Now, you want to also set up multiple campaigns for the, for different products that you're selling because you want to figure out which ones are going to get, to get, get paid for, okay? If you get one that has a sale, that's the one you want to, that's the one you want to go ahead and keep marketing. Now, I also want to let you guys know that you don't need to just stick with exact. You can stick with all four of them. You can stick with exact and phrase if you want to. Now, what would a phrase be? Now, we're targeting a uh, make money with writing, so one of our keywords would probably be like, writing job so if you stick uh, exact and phrase in there someone will say I'm looking for writing jobs that means they'll target your ad so you don't have to just stick with exact so that's just what I want to go ahead and let you guys know real quick uh, I just want to go ahead and show you guys the uh, ad that I paid for I'm still getting clicks like I said this ad's going to be going for the whole year I did pay $40 for it but I got the whole year to possibly get a couple sales so most likely, I got a good chance I'm going to be getting some sales, so it only cost me like $40, so which is a pretty good deal. I'm still getting clicks, uh, seven days worth of clicks, that equaled up to 372 two clicks, so uh, I'm feeling good about it. Um, right now, we're over here at, uh, go ahead and, uh, wait one second here. Okay, we're over here at uh, Bing. Uh, I set up a couple of ads here. Let's go ahead and wait for it to load up real quick. Now, uh, my, let's go ahead and check them out real quick so you guys can see what we've got going on here. Now, uh, the first ad that I set up was uh, Treatment for Diabetes, which I'm still running on the same original ad, which I got those original sales from. This was the original ad right here. As you can see, uh, we got uh, 575 clicks. I originally spent 88, $88. I spent a little less when I first got, I spent around 60 when I got those clicks, when I got those sales, but it ran a little bit longer, even though the campaign was already over budget. Now I went ahead and set up uh, two more campaigns. This one is treatment for diabetes, has different keywords, it's probably some the same, some different. And this one is an exact exact duplicate of this one that was up here. So uh, this one already has two clicks. The clicks are right now. Those two clicks that were clicked were for 24 cents. That may seem like a lot. What I was going to do is go ahead and set up another ad for you guys because I know that maybe uh, paying 24 cents is a bit much for you. What uh, I was going to say, yeah, I've seen people on YouTube talking about how they uh, showing that showing that they spent 1,500 dollars for one ad and they only made around $200 extra. I'm not sure how long the ads went, but if I spent $1,500 on one ad that may be $200 in the end of one week, I'd be pretty happy. But let's go ahead and check out something for people that maybe just only want to spend $5 on their ad. Maybe once the ad's done, they'll spend maybe up to maybe $6, $6, maybe five, five $5.50. But they originally just want to spend around $5. What I went ahead and did was uh, to be known to be the top top ten of the uh, countries that normally pay for ClickBank products. So uh, now, before I tell you what they are, Finland and Norway get mixed up to me. I can't remember which one it is. It's Finland or either Norway. So I just go ahead and put a both both on here. But we got Norway, Belgium. Uh, Japan, United States, United Kingdom, Switzerland, New Zealand, Ireland, Finland, 
Canada and Australia. Like I said, Finland and Norway, I can't remember which one of those two were actually on the top ten. But I saw I just put them both up there. Now, you guys think Canada, Australia, United, United Kingdom, United States. Uh, these are probably at the top ten because people normally tend to promote them there. To, to, to promote their products there. So, that's probably why they're at the top ten. But I went ahead and show this to you guys. Hopefully, you guys can pause and just copy those down. Because these are actually at the top ten for the top sales of ClickBank products. So, we went ahead and put those on there. We went ahead and put people in your targeted location. That means that people are only targeting, they're only living in those locations. Now, you don't want to put this one up here or the one below it because that means people that have the IP address there from there. Maybe they're living in Taiwan, but they have an IP, IP address for United Kingdom. So, we only want to target these people in these areas because these are at the top of the ClickBank sales list. So, uh, let's go ahead and go down here. This is the uh, product I decided to sell. Since I've normally been sticking around the health group, I decided to go ahead and go somewhere different. We went with uh, jobs, and I ended up uh, targeting. Oh, okay, right here is, is legit writing jobs. That's it right there. I just want to go down real quick because... Uh, Okay, this is it. Like I was, I was saying, like, I, I, think I, I think it actually was going for a bit higher than that. Okay, right here we got a, uh, I think they're both the same people here. This one right here is signed for $25.79. No rebill. That's just the initial sale. You get $0.75. Cents. I think these are both the same people. Now, this is a legit writing jobs number one. Let's go ahead and wait for it to load up here. No, this is actually a different one. Oh, bad. I'm sorry. This is the one we're actually promoting, this legit writing job, which goes for the $70 one. Uh, $72, but the initial sale starts off at $2.67, which is very cool. That means that they can join at a real low price, then they can upgrade and we get rebuild six, uh, at a total of that. Let's go and check this one out real quick. This is the one right here. So what I went ahead and did was I had to pick other countries. I put legit writing jobs. I just went ahead and copied the title. I put get paid to write quality content from home, which is right here. Get paid for to write quality content from home. A little while ago in one of my videos, I said instead of trying to make it seem unrealistic, really cool, that so that somebody would like, like a uh, real writing jobs from home, earn cash today. Instead, I want, decided to, to just start just going to regular what it is, pointing out exactly what it is. Now, this is actually the title, Legit Writing Jobs. This is the actual first thing you read, get paid to write quality content. So now when somebody goes there, what they read is actually relating to what they're about to check out. I don't know if that gives you better con con conversions or not, but that's just what I decided to do since instead of uh, trying to mess around with people. Uh... We got writing jobs right here. Dot org instead of dot com. I just felt like maybe putting a dot org, seeing how that transactions, how how that will do. Now I want to add click down the site to make sure that was the right side. This is what you want to do too. But don't forget we're selling on being ads, so I we'll want to ahead and click this site to make sure it's the right site. And what we want to do is enter our information in, which I'm going to go ahead and do right here. I just entered in false information because I do not want to receive any spam email, even though I have hundreds of spams coming to myself. Now, what do we want to do when we get here? Make sure nothing else can be clicked besides these join sites. We want to make sure that everything looks good because a lot of some of these places actually have their Facebook accounts in there. So you say, go join the Facebook, or join the Twitter. You don't want all that stuff. You don't want them diver diverting themselves to this Facebook page or this other sign up area. You want them to be signed up right there where you are so you can get the commission. You don't want them to be going to Facebook or anywhere else. So you want to make sure they don't have any Facebook crap on their stuff. You don't want them trying to trying to go around you to get sales. Hello pop up images, really cool. Um, let 
Now I try to click on that, nothing happened. Okay. You want to make sure that these uh, things that you can click on don't go anywhere except for your spot. So let's go ahead and click the join now. See what there, see where this goes. And click bank uh, checkout area. What we want to do is go down to make sure our affiliate name is down there. Which this is it. And I put right right there just so I can uh, figure out where the clicks are coming from. Even though I know they're going to be coming from here. Let's go ahead and back out of this. Now, what you're going to want to do, since this one has multiple join now areas, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you click on each and every one of these to make sure that it goes straight to your affiliate area to check out. Like I said, you want to be making, making very sure that this only goes to your affiliate area. Make sure there's no Facebook crap. No Twitter joining, uh, no uh, except Visa. Click there. You want to make sure it goes right. Because I'm telling you, some of these places that you sell to, you're losing your, your, your views, you're losing your purchases because they're clicking on their Facebook account. Or, so obviously, this only goes to our stuff so we can get the profits. We have everything set up here, promoting exactly what we got. We already set up our ads, unfortunately. I right, clicked Bank, but what I did was I went ahead and used uh, their original URL, and I entered in my own little things right here. Find keyword content and words or phrases. So I entered this in, and this is all the stuff that I came up with. Now, let's see here. Content writing. I didn't click that one because content writing just kind of ding, goes everywhere. We don't know if they're trying to purchase or they're trying to join some freelance writing. The same thing for beginners. I don't know where that's going. Online writing. That may seem like a good idea to put on there, but I decided it wasn't. Online writing kind of goes anywhere. How to, how to start online writing. How to do this. How to do that. Medical writing jobs. That's something like what something we want to do. Creative writing jobs. That's something like something we want to do. Right money it doesn't sound like a good idea. You want to go, you want to make sure the keyword converts. So if they're clicking on a keyword, it's a good idea that they might be buying. If they're clicking on a keyword like uh, travel writing jobs, and they click on our site, they might not want to buy it. They're looking for somewhere they can travel. Or write money, like this keyword right here, write money. They're, they're probably just looking for a way to make money or something. Sci uh, science writing jobs that might seem interesting. Freelance writing jobs, I'm not going to click that one. I'm not going to click that science one either. So, these are the ads, these are the ones we got right here. We're writing jobs, uh, career writing, legit writing jobs, medical writing jobs, creative writing jobs. Maybe I should take out that medical one since this one probably doesn't pertain to any medical writing jobs, active writing jobs. So, these are all kind of careers and stuff like that. We want them to understand that they're clicking this. These are jobs. These are careers. These are applications. Stuff like that. That's so they have an idea that this is possibly a job for them. Now, we're going with a five cent budget. Now, not all of these ads are going to click for that five cents, but some of them will. And hopefully we get convergence. Like I said, we're trying to stick at the lower budget. So, for five dollars, okay? Maybe you only got five dollars, maybe you only got twenty dollars. So you can run four different ads for twenty dollars. So right now we're just our first ad that we're trying. You can copy this to a T if you want to, or you can change it up however you see fit. Now this is where I started with just five dollar ads, five cent ads, I mean. Now as you can see, right here. I went from five cents all the way on up. I'm saying that's where I'm at. So the ads I'm promoting right now are for thirty cents a piece. That can get clicked anywhere from zero from one cent to up to thirty cents. Some ads that ran at whatever the uh, bid was. Maybe if the bid was a dollar, I ran it at a dollar. If it was eight dollars, I ran it at eight dollars. I tried it always. Trust me. But right now these are for the uh, People that maybe don't want to spend too much money, they just want to get their feet wet. We're going to go, and go ahead and do the lowest clicks, which is, to me is five cents. You can put one cent, maybe, hopefully, you get some jazz.
uh, some sales, but I've gotten sales at five cents, so you can go ahead and do it too. Now, I'm only keeping this at exact because exact means that they have to actually click on, they actually have to search, up, search jobs writing. If you had it on prod, that means that anybody that said, uh, is there cool jobs? Or is there cool writing jobs anywhere? And then you're at, you're at a show for them or stuff like that. So you just want to make sure it's only an exact. That means that it's only going to that exact keyword. If they only type in that exact keyword, it'll, it'll show up your ad. Remember, we're only going at five cents. We're doing a, uh, $5 a day budget, which means that mainly around that $5 budget is done. They'll let you know it's done. And they'll start slowing your ads down until they stop. But if you just leave it on there, it'll still, it'll still get some ads clicked. So when you log in, I log in every day, check it out, and it says that's done, make sure you go ahead and stop your ad because you didn't get that much money. Okay, you got all that done. Make sure all these are at exact. Make sure all of them at five cents. Make sure they are because that's this is your money you're dealing with. Okay, now uh, another thing you might want to do uh, click the daily budget option. Standard means spend your budget evenly throughout the day. That means if you'll pop your your ad will be popping in and out evenly throughout the day. Or accelerate it. Spend your budget as quickly as possible. That means they're going to put your ad out there wherever it fits. In your keyword area so that's where I put I'm not gonna wait for my shit to get sales to get clicks I want my stuff to accelerate right now I want this ad to be done with see if I get any, any sales it doesn't I don't think it affects your your sales or whatever I don't think it affects anything it just kind of shows them out right now I'm not sure that I, I ain't 100% sure but uh, to me I mean this is what I normally play but you can put the standard one now, uh, let's go ahead and say we got all our stuff set up. We got our campaign selected. We got all our ads and everything. Now, this is the uh, search net network bid. So, that means, uh, from what I understand, that's, that's kind of where the realm is between 30 cents and. You can go ahead and lower it down to 10 cents. I just keep it where it's at, though. Mainly, you probably don't even want to mess with it. Now, uh, genders. We're talking about writing jobs. Is there a lot of men in writing jobs? Yes. Is there more women? Maybe. So, I mean, you could just go ahead and click on this legit writing jobs right here. Let's go wait for it to load up real quick. What do you see right there? A little woman figure. So, this is what we'll do. You can do it, you don't need you can't do it, it's up to you. Okay, you have to do this after you create your, your product, so we'll go ahead and leave that at that then. We'll go ahead and push save. Now our product is up and running. This is it right here. Now if I want to just get to this program, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go over to ads. Go down to our legit writing jobs, which we have right right here. I'll just go ahead and click on that right is enabled but when you're first joining Bing it might say wait they're probably going to be looking at it but don't worry if you ever mess up on anything you can contact them they got great support trust me I've talked to these people plenty of times sometimes I wasn't able to make payments so just so you, just so you know now remember you need to set up all this stuff in advance go down here and go to uh, right here now male and female now since we're guessing that this probably goes a lot more towards females what you can do is increase it by five percent that means that you're increasing your bid by five percent so your five cents would be increased by five percent which would be like five cent five you know five 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 like five cents point zero zero whatever or you can decrease the male bid by 5% or 1% or whatever you want to do. 
Now, since we're trying to stick around this budget, what we will do is just mainly try to target our stuff towards the women. So we'll just decrease this one by 5%. Or we'll just leave them both alone. And we'll go ahead and increase the women. Since we, we want to really target this towards the women, me personally, I'll increase it by 5%. You shouldn't mess with our budget too much, but uh, since we know that's what it does. Now, we can also increase by the age. So. What age group do you think would want to buy this? Would want to get into writing? My guess would be these ages. I would actually go with the 34 to 49, but maybe these ages. So what we would do is we'll go ahead and increase these ones by. Let's go and just do it by 5%. Okay, so. Uh, now what we could do is we could probably just leave this one alone. We mainly want to put our main uh, areas right here, which would be between 35 to 65. We sell by 5%, which kind of gives us a little boost. That means that we'll reach a, a little bit more since we're since our uh, ad is actually more than five cents since now. It's actually a little bit more. And now it's five cents plus an extra five percent. So we'll, we'll probably be getting a couple extra clicks, a couple extra views. Okay, now it's up to you. You can increase it a lot more once you get more into this, but that's just, I just want to show you guys that so you can actually go into the age groups and increase it and go into your male and female. Now we, we could actually decrease the, the male by 5%, but let's go ahead and just leave it like that. So now we go ahead and got our ad set up. Now when, when you click on this with the right, which goes into this personal campaign, you can actually check out the keywords as well. These are our keywords, and we will begin some some uh, impressions and stuff like that. But I want to also talk to you guys a little bit about uh, working and stuff. I always talk about I'm working, I'm working. I know some of you probably don't like that because you don't work. Uh, I want to tell you guys that working is a key is a key to make money in this world. If you don't work, if you don't save, you will never be able to invest in yourself in your income. So I would suggest all you to work and all you to save. Working is just half the part of living check by check. Isn't that a good thing? I don't care if all you can save is ten dollars. Save that ten dollars. Ten dollars can buy you two ads that could possibly lead to a couple sales. That could possibly increase your ad next ads by tenfold. You know what I'm saying? If you if I get, if we actually get a sale off this five dollar ad, we could actually the sale would actually bring us up, possibly that that we would get uh what two dollars to two dollars for our first sale. If they actually decide to buy the buy the program, we might end up getting a seventy-five dollar check. You know what I'm saying fifty dollar check, whatever. So you, you need to understand. Now we're just now I'm I'm picking this ad. You don't need to pick this ad. I suggest you not to pick this ad. I'm only picking this ad because it seems good to me. What you want to do is pick an ad that's actually giving you more than have a um, clickbait program that's actually paying you twenty dollars, or paying you uh, ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars per sale. Me, I, I picked this one because I think it's an interesting ad. So uh, you can follow me, by step by step, except choose a different ad, copy exactly what that ad, that campaign I mean has on it, and do it just like I did. Now. I'm lucky because I have a roommate, which is my brother. We both have our own incomes, and we, so I actually have actually I pay $200 each week out of my check. Now, sometimes I may only make 300. Now I know some people got child support. I got child support. I have to pay. Luckily, I'm just not paying it at the moment. But even if I had to pay that child support, I would end up with about $50 or more out of my check. I still save that money $50. I would probably only spend ten of those dollars on stuff, just some drinks at the work or something. I would conserve as much money as I can so that I can invest. Like I said, the only cap the best capital to start with is the capital that you can make at at, at your job. Now there's doctors that ain't even they are living check by check. There's doctors, there's lawyers, there's people like us. Not nobody not nobody knows how to uh 
control their money, how to invest their money the proper way. So uh, unless they actually learn it, they take the time to learn it.